Hello, my friend. Today's story is about the ugly duckling. Oh, I feel so sorry for the poor, poor ugly duckling. I'm sure he felt so alone in the world. I feel so sorry for him. Shame, Baba. You don't have to be so sad for the ugly duckling. I am sure that things will work out in the end for him. But you are a good friend. That's why you feel sad when the ugly duckling are not feeling so well and nobody likes him and he feels so alone. That's a good thing that you care about the ugly duckling, Baba. Let's see what happens with today's story. We all love to listen to stories. So, sit down and listen to today's story. I hope you enjoy it. My biggest book of favorite tales. This book is adapted from the originals by Anne McKee, illustrated by Ken McKee. Thank you very much, Anne and Ken, for this beautiful book for our children. The Ugly Duckling It was summertime. The sky was blue and the air was filled with the scent of meadow flowers and the sound of bees buzzing from flower to flower made Mother Duck feel very sleepy. She had been sitting on her nest all summer long, hidden deep in the reeds on the edge of a pond. The mother duck felt rather lonely all by herself. I do wish my ducklings would hatch, she sighed. Then I would have someone to talk to and join me in a dip in the pond. At long last, the eggs began to crack open. First one, then another, and another until all the ducklings had popped out of the shells. Their soft yellow down soon dried out in the warm summer sun. In next to no time, they were all eager to discover their new world. The baby ducklings jumped out of their nest and ran into the reeds. Some of them hid, and of course, some of them got lost. Peep, peep! What a big world, they all cried, darting everywhere. Peep, peep! Peep, peep! Poor Mother Duck felt quite muddled. A bit of peace and quiet is what I need, she quacked as she waddled back to her nest to rest. It was then she noticed one egg that had not hatched. How strange, she thought. This egg is so big, it doesn't look like mine at all. But she sat down all the same, just to keep it warm. At last the big egg cracked. Out tumbled a duckling twice as big as the rest. Sad to say, compared to the others, he could only be described as ugly. Poor Mother Duck shook her feathers as she gazed at her huge duckling. How big and ugly are you? Not a bit like the others. It was time to take her new family down to the pond for a swim. One by one, the ducklings jumped into the water with a splash. Then up they bobbed, swimming along beautifully. A 
especially the ugly duckling. How quickly they could swim across the pond, following their mother in a straight line. What a wonderful place the world is, cheeped the ducklings. Peep, 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 peep. What a wonderful place. Then one by one, they hopped out of the pond and into the farmyard. What a noisy place it was. Full of ducks and hens pushing and pecking at each other and fighting over every scrap of food in the place. Sad to say, nobody liked the ugly duckling. Perhaps it was because he was different and not soft and fluffy like all the other baby birds. He's so ugly, clucked one old hen. I've never seen anything so awkward in all my days. And she tried to peck the ugly duckling's legs. This made the poor duckling feel terribly unhappy. <gasps> I am so ugly. I will go far away so no one can look at me. Poor, poor ugly duckling. Shame. I feel so sorry for him. So he ran through the fields until he came to the marshes where the wild ducks lived. But he found no welcome there. They hissed at him and stabbed him with their black beaks until he ran away again. Poor ugly duckling. As darkness fell, the ugly duckling came to an old cottage. He crept under the door and stayed all night in the warmth. Next morning, an old woman with a cat and a hen found him. Can you lay duck eggs? She asked. The ugly duckling shook his head because he is no duck. Then you'll have to go, snarled the cat. And he chased him out the door. Mew, 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 said the cat. And so the ugly duckling made up his mind to find a place to hide where no one would see how ugly he was. For weeks and weeks he lived alone by a lake. Summer had gone and winter was on its way. Shime, look at the lonely little ugly duckling. One evening a flock of lovely white birds flew overhead. The duckling gazed up at them in wonder. If only I could be as beautiful as that! And he began to cry. <laughs> that night was so cold that the lake turned to ice. The ugly duckling was so tired. He fell asleep and froze fast to the ice. Oh, shame, poor ugly duckling. Very early next day, luckily for the ugly duckling, a passing farmer found him. He cracked the ice with his stick and freed the duckling. He pushed him inside his warm jacket and carried him home to his wife. What a kind farmer. I could fatten him up, she said. In a few weeks he'll make a fine roast dinner. Unfortunately, the farmer's two children were very, very naughty. All day long they chased the duckling round the kitchen, trying to grab him. Such naughty children. One dreadful day they chased him so much 
that he flew into a milk churn. The farmer's wife screamed and almost hit him with a poker. He tried to escape, but landed right in the middle of a barrel of flour. In the upset that followed, the ugly duckling darted out of the kitchen door and never stopped until he reached a peaceful lake. There he stayed, sad and lonely, all winter long, until spring came. Somehow, the warm sun made the duckling feel glad to be alive. Yes, he was happy. As he swam out of his hiding place in the reeds, three snow-white swans glided towards him. The ugly duckling bowed his head, waiting for them to peck and hiss at him. It was then he saw his reflection in the water. No longer was he a big, clumsy, ugly duckling. No but a graceful white swan. Really? Fly away with us, said the swans. So happy at last, the new swan spread his wings and flew away with them across the lake. My goodness, so the ugly duckling was not so ugly at all. He was a beautiful, beautiful white swan. How lucky for him. He found his new friends. Yes, here is something for you. You listened to the story. You sat quietly the whole time. Good job. I am so proud of you. to Teacher Tila's YouTube channel. If you already subscribed, then you will get more and more videos to watch. Bye, my friend.